Hello everyone, William here for a new video. Guys, thank you so much for uh, getting uh, the React Native Sketch Element UI kit and also thank you so much on your feedback uh, about these uh, YouTube videos. Uh, it's really cool to see that uh, you guys are enjoying the videos. And in this one, I would like to address uh, the most asked, by far the most asked question about uh, React Native Sketch Elements, which is why do you use Mobex and why you're not using set state or why you're not using Redux. And obviously, uh, in terms of community size, Redux is, uh, is by far the most used library. So why uh, am I not using Redux? And yeah, why, why did I pick Mobex? And so in this video, you know, my goal is really not to, to tell you like one is better than the other or, you know, my goal is just to tell you why I've made this decision and, you know, maybe you can give me your feedback on, you know, on my, on my experience with it. And hopefully, you know, I can also get more informed about this topic. So I'm definitely not an expert on state management <laughs> with React. And, uh, you know, I, I would just like to, to basically take you through uh, what has been my experience with it and why I picked Mobex for React Native Sketch Elements. And so in fact, when I did my very first um, React project uh, with a colleague, we we used Redux and which at, at the time, I mean, looking back, it, that was completely crazy because we didn't even uh, have any experience using set state. So we barely knew how React was working, but because everyone, you know, um, all the boilerplates uh, were using Redux, uh, we, you know, it seemed to be like the default choice, like coming from outside the community and looking around it seemed like, you know, you had to use uh, React with Redux. So we did. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> looking back, that was really terrible. We should have, you know, tried with uh, um, with uh, vanilla React and then see, okay, uh, is there an issue with it? And if there is, like, what kind of library, like, can solve this issue? And... Um, which is kind of what I did. Uh, so, you know, after a while being more uh, uh, experienced with React, that's kind of what I did with um, uh, with the Fiber UI kit. So there is a, a playlist where, uh, to, 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 to where we add Firebase support to, uh, to the Fiber starter kit. And so we start just using set state and then finally we hit a kind of a wall where set state is like kind of not good enough or becomes like too much overhead and then we use Mobex. Uh, and I think that's like part four. And that was kind of really cool to really start like, okay, you know, is there a problems that need to be solved? And then like eat, so actually eat this problem and actually like trying to solve it. And, uh, but anyways, so when we got started, we got started with Redux, we thought, I mean, and I'm not a Redux expert. So, you know, maybe I'm gonna, you know, tell you a bit of my complaints with Redux. And if you are uh, a Redux expert which, watching this video, maybe it will be like, okay, Jude, you were doing it wrong. And, and that's not, you know, how we do things anymore and so on. And I totally get it. Like all I can tell you, do is share my experience. That, that's it. So, yeah, we were getting started with this project and we got really overwhelmed with the amount of boilerplate we had to do. Plus, we were using TypeScript. So, you have to use all these packages, like, you know, so you use Redux, but also you need to use uh, React Router, Redux, and so on. And, you know, according to the different React packaging packages you were using. And then we were using TypeScript. So, if we wanted to make this... Uh, this package is uh, like if we wanted to make these components type safe it was a completely different <laughs> story. So we had to find uh, the right. Uh, so there is like a, really a lot of packages and you have to find the typings for these packages and so on. 
um, it was really overwhelming. Uh, then on top of that, we thought, I mean, it seemed really convenient to use uh, immutable JS with Redux because we, yeah, we had some some use cases for it and. Uh, immutable GS does add also another layer of um, layer of complexity, I would say, or overhead. And uh, yeah, we so that's kind of a big mess. But also we were uh, we were complete beginners with React, so that might also be the the reason why. And uh, and why today am I, I'm using Mobex? To be fair. Uh, so then, you know, I went basically back the opposite approach and which is like use set state and, you know, okay, maybe if you, you know, set state is, is really not good enough for some task, use uh, like a library that can solve this problem. And I'm using Mobex, but to be fair, I'm always, um, for 98% of the cases, I'm using basically a really a tiny subset of Mobex. And Basically, that solves two problems, which uh, which I have with uh, using set state. So the first one is um, the fact that Mobex can provide uh, um, stores that you can uh, inject into your components. So you can have uh, stateful. Um, you can have states which can be managed across components. Um, so Mobex provides a, a really nice uh, utility for that. And so a good example, I mean, if I go to the music UI kit from Sketch Elements, uh, you have the player controls. So here I'm going to start uh, a song. And this player control goes can be controlled from, you see, from different components and across, across components. So that's one thing, uh, Mobex has a very nice API um, in order to, to do this. And um, if we look to the code, so in, in React Native Sketch Elements, everything is uh, statically typed using Flow. I am a strong believer of static typing for, for code quality and uh, uh, keeping the technical debt of your project uh, low. And so as you can see, uh, even like to inject properly uh, stores to, to a component, like, and if you want to keep the, keep it type safe, it's, uh, you see, like I had to write this, this crazy uh, type annotations. It's actually already quite complex, but I would say very manageable. So that's one, uh, one thing I use Mobex for, and the second thing I use Mobex for in, so again, like in 98% of cases, um, you know, I use always Firebase as a backend if possible. And so in Firebase, you, you subscribe to a data source and then you unsubscribe. So you have to, when the component mounts, uh, load the data, when it unmounts, um, uh, unsubscribe from the observer. And it's something you can do that is done basically automatically using the observer notation in um, in uh, in Mobex. So that's just a really nice uh, utility. Uh, yeah, what I I find from from Mobex where you can do this. Uh, you know, instead of doing always implement subscribing in component will mount and unsubscribing component will unmount, uh, I just find it to be, uh, to be very useful. And then of course, uh, there, um, I mean, we, here we are talking about very simple data structures. Um, and of course there are cases where, uh, I use other features from Mobex, for instance, uh, you know, if you have nested maps and you want to, so you have like a post data object and you want to add likes, so you need to. Uh, you know, if someone clicks on a like, you need to add like, uh, you have a map of likes and you need to add something, remove something from the map. And sometimes you need to, to actually, in order to achieve this, denormalize the data from, denormalize the object you're getting from the database in order also to manage, uh, um, to have like Mobex to react properly to the state change and you need to uh, normalize the data if you want to save it and so on can get uh, pretty complex 
I'm not um, eating these use cases too much, too many times. There's also a new version of Mobex that came out, which um, I haven't, I barely looked at it and need to investigate. Um, yeah, so maybe, you know, I also need to use uh, more features from Mobex. It's definitely also a, a learning curve for me. And interestingly enough, I think that uh, Redux has such a big community because I think they were really um, the earliest in the space. And it seems that uh, uh, from what I've seen on Twitter and uh, also this article about the new uh, context API in React, it seems that actually the community is, uh, might be moving away from Redux. So the size of the community might not be, I could be wrong, but the size of the community might not be an indicator for the quality or the usefulness of the project. But uh, yeah, so in, um, so, this, so this is why I, uh, I use Mobex in React Sketch element because we have these uh, components which are where the state in manage, we have these stores where the state in manage cross components so the player uh, the music player is a good example. Um, of course, another example is the theming of the of the of each UI kit, so you can change. Uh, so the main color of the theme is uh, can be switched uh, at you know as a, it's a state basically. And also, if you if you decide to use like uh, a backend such as Firebase, I think uh, you will get some nice um, some nice utility from Mobex because you can really you know Mobex is an observer pattern. Uh, in Firebase, we are observing uh, documents, and so you just have a nice utility from Mobex in order to. To observe Firebase documents, or if you you know your the backend is using the, um, an observer pattern or subscribed and subscribe, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, my story with all these uh, you know with Mobex, Redux, set state. Uh, please uh, tell me what you think. You really my goal with, with this video is uh, is also hopefully to get more informed about this topic. So let me know if I'm missing something. And uh, yeah, I'm lo really looking forward to, um, to read your feedback and talk to you soon, guys. Ciao.